Let me ask you about the method behind the madness on several aspects of your life. So you mentioned that your approach to uh, writing for research and writing popular books. How do you find the time of the day? Like what's a day in the life of Sean and Carol looks like? how I find the time. So you don't have a thing where in the morning you're like, you you try to fight for two hours somewhere. I don't, I'm really terrible at that. You know, my my strategy for finding time is just to ignore interruptions and emails, but it's a different time every day. Some days it never happens, some weeks it never happens. You're able to pull it off because you're extremely prolific. So like you're able to have days where you don't write and still write the next day. Right. Oh, wow. That's a rare thing, right? A lot of prolific writers will will carve out two hours because otherwise it just disappears. Right. No, I get that. Yeah, I I do. And yeah, it's, it's just like I... Everyone is, you know, has their foibles or whatever. So I'm not able to do that. Therefore, I have to just figure it out on the fly. And what's the actual process look like when you're writing uh, popular stuff? You get behind a computer? Yeah, get behind a computer. And my way of doing it, so my wife, Jennifer, is a science writer. But it's interesting because our techniques are entirely different. You know, she will think about something, but then she will free write. She'll just mm-hmm. sit at a computer and write. Like, you know, I think this, I think this, I think this. And then that will be vastly compressed, edited, and you know, rewritten or whatever until the, the final thing happens. I will just like sit there silently thinking for a very long time. And then I will write what is almost the final draft. So a lot of it happens. There might be some scribbles for an outline or something like that, but a lot of it is in my brain before it's on the page. So that's the case for the the biggest ideas in the universe, the quanta book and the space-time motion book? Yeah, quanta and fields, which is actually mostly about quantum field theory and particle physics. Mm -hmm. Um, That's coming out in May, and that is, uh, I'm letting people in on things that no other book lets them in on. So I hope it's worth it. It's mm-hmm. it's a challenge because there's a lot of equations. I mean, you did the same thing with space time motion. You you did something quite interesting, which is like you made the equation a centerpiece of a book. Right. There's a lot of equations. Book two is is um, goes further in those directions than book one did. So it's more cool stuff. It's also more mind bendy. It's more of a challenge. Book three that I'm writing right now. Uh, is called Complexity and Emergence. Oh, wow. And that'll be the final part of the trilogy. Oh, that's fascinating. So there's a lot of probably ideas that are there. I mean, that's a real cutting edge. Well, but you know, I'm not trying to be cutting edge. In other words, I'm not trying to speculate in these books. Obviously, in other books, I've been very free about speculating, but the point of these books is to say things that 500 years from now will still be true. (laughs) <laughs> and so there are th- some things we know about complexity and emergence, and I want to focus on those. And I will I will mention, I'm happy to say, this is something that needs to be speculated about, but I won't pretend to be telling you what one is the right one. You somehow found the balance between the rigor of mathematics and still accessible, which is interesting. I try. I mean, yeah. look, this these three books, the Biggest Ideas books, are absolutely an experiment. They're going to appeal to a smaller audience than other books will. Um, But that audience should love them. Like my 16 year old self would have been so happy to get these books, I can't tell you. Yeah, in terms of looking back in history, those are books, the trilogy would be truly special in that way. Worked for Lord of the Rings, so I figured, why not me? You and Tolkien are just different styles, different topics. Same ultimate reality. (laughs) 